Alright, hey guys, um, today I decided to make a video of my boat. It's a 8 foot Pelican Bass Raider. I've had this boat for about a year now and just absolutely love it. It's perfect size for me. It's got all the features I could possibly ask for in a boat. Uh, it's extremely stable because it has the layout of a pontoon. Um, it's all around a good boat. I highly recommend this if you want a small boat. Um, so. Anywho, I'll show you guys everything inside the boat. Um, here are my seats. The other one's down there. Um, these come with the boat. They pivot and they, uh, they slide on this track. And they pop out really easily. So, um, This is my trolling motor. It's a uh, Mencota. 36 pound thrust. It's really nice because it's got this battery indicator right here. It says recharge, low, good, fully charged. You just push this little button and it reads your battery and tells you your level of charge. Um, this is my, my battery. Uh, it's a stowaway, dual purpose marine trolling battery. This is my uh, live ball when I fish tournaments. It's a pop up live ball, so. All I gotta do is just tie a rope to it and place my fish inside of it and set it down in the water. Uh, this is my rope. Um, this is my paddle I got from Gainer Mount for $14.99. It's nice to have when you get stuck up on a stump or something or when you're in some shallow water and you can't put the trolling water all the way down. It's nice to have. Um, this is some carpet I cut up. It's just extra indoor outdoor carpet we just had laying around um that's just the bottom of the boat um this is the platform i just recently built for this boat um uh, if you didn't see the video i highly suggest you see it so you can see step by step so maybe you can build one for your boat if you want to um it's a really nice feature to have because i just like to be above the water i don't know it just more fuel level bass boat. Um, it's really nice. I just put this carpet on there, and I also recently put this little door on here. I got all kinds of tackle and stuff down in there. I'm not gonna go through all that stuff, and I'm gonna eventually put like a door right here. But for now, I just lift this carpet up. And I got a couple of tackle boxes down in there. But um, yeah, it's nice to have. Kind of makes the boat equal weight with this in front, the battery in the back, because with that battery, kind of brings the front end off the water a little bit. So it's nice to have it stable. Um, that's my uh, Bass Pro Shops rod holder. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's nice, clamped right on my transom. Pretty nice to have. Um, all these little storage compartments are nice to have. You know, set your pliers and stuff in there. Um, they can also um, fit uh, like a six foot five rod or something, whatever. They set in there really nice. Um, got four cup holders on each side. So you got eight cup, holder, cup holders all together. So it's got these little handles for carrying stuff. and It's got a motor mount on the front as well. Um, I do have an outboard for this. Well, it's my dad's. He said if I can get it running, I can have it. It's a... Uh, three and a half horse um, sears I think um, so I'm gonna try to get it running I got a 36 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor down there that I generally put on the front um, but uh, yeah um, so yeah that's my boat I hope you liked it um, I highly suggest you buy this boat thanks for watching